Hi ladies, I am here to give you guys your messages. I got some Palo Santo, okay? Um, cleansing the air, the energy, all right? Um, so a card that had came out during the pre-shuffle was hit your target. So uh, ladies, it looks like you guys are um, hitting your goals out here is what I see, whatever it is that you're focused on, whatever it is that you're doing. All right. Um, or this is um, a, a reminder to really focus on uh, to, to set goals. It's time for you to set some goals. If you need help doing that, you guys can book a 30 minute call with me. We can get that done. OK, um, it's a 30 minute call for fifty dollars. OK, so very um very reasonable for what we do within that call um but it looks like you are on targets um uh for for something also school is starting back as well is what i see for some of you guys whatever you're doing you're you're really good at it is what i see you're really good at what you do okay mm -hmm. yeah some of you guys could be musicians as well or uh, you guys could be writers producers composers you guys could be in a band, playing an instrument. All right, let's see. Eat your words. But let's see. It was a whole bunch that came out. I'm getting the energy of Atlanta, like business and um, social life, having fun. So some of you guys may live in Atlanta or you guys could be visiting there. Okay, but I'm just getting a peach tree, you know, just um, being downtown. All right, some of you guys could be going to some type of event um, in Atlanta or um, there could be some type of uh, co major convention going on. Um, too many coming out. I just want one, Great Spirit, please. Okay, Siren Song. This is talking about falling um, into a temptation. So don't be lured in to something that is not for you or something that you should not be doing. All right, take what messages are for you. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. All right, but um, it's like going, it's like this could be the music that you're listening to as well, 222 on the phone. Um, uh, just don't get pulled or sucked into any type of energies that's really going to take you off track and uh move you away from the from from m maybe a different direction that you could be going in or something like that we also have head over heels so you could be your your i'm also getting uh ladies that your energy is very luring your energy is very attractive here you're attracting a lot of people to you even the people that um you may not want to come to you or something like that but I feel like you're just a very attractive person. You're, you're a very luring person. But again, just also be careful for energies that could be around you that um, may want to, that they can be attractive, but, but they really could be soulless or something like that, okay? Let's get one more for my ladies. What messages do you guys need to hear? That you are the life of the party, baby. Okay, so it's time to party. It's funny because I just I mentioned the song Party um, by Beyonce uh, in the, the last message. So that's funny that this energy is coming up here. Okay, go watch that, by the way. It's a really good read. Um, but, uh, yeah, you guys are the life of the party, Divine Feminine. All right, you guys are very beautiful. Something about your makeup. You're very, very pretty, very gorge. Very soft, sexy, sweet is what I see. Mm -hmm. Something about your eyelashes. You guys could be getting your lashes done or you guys could be a lash tech. Yeah, but I see you guys just have this super airy energy to yourself. You're very light. It's giving me Janelle Monae uh, floats. It's like y'all just float, you know, y'all just make everything better. It's giving me cotton candy. Cotton candy, sweet as gold. Let me see you, Tootsie Roll. Hey, Tootsie Roll. Hey, y'all remember that? All my old school heads. Y'all feel me? <laughs> but yeah, y'all the life of the party. You know, it's like y'all just very light, airy. Like I said, um, candy-like. It's like candy, you know? You, you have that feel-good energy, that feel-good vibe. 444 was on the phone. Unlock your mind. Spirit is saying, don't be afraid to unlock your mind and go down different paths. Yeah, the road less traveled. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to go down the road less traveled. It's okay to go down that way. 
nothing's gonna bite you it's okay to think different is what that's saying it's okay to do something different it's it's kind of like you've been doing the same thing over and over change it up you've been thinking the same way over and over change it up it's okay what what has you restricted from changing the way you think or your perspective on something it may just change everything for you that's what i'm picking up on that's what i'm getting okay let's see This is for my beautiful ladies. Have y'all looked yourself in the mirror? Hmm? Have you told yourself how much you love yourself? Have you done your mirror work, your, your, your um, journal work, your inner work? We have power lines here, energy. Number 36. Yeah, so something again about the energy that you give out. It's like you don't miss whatever you do. It's about being confident in yourself, Divine Feminine. Whoever you are, whatever you do, it's about you really um, being confident. It's about you really knowing who you are and doing that very well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Trust that trust that you got that you that you spear in that meeting well that you head in that meeting well that you're managing well that you're doing whatever you do well you're a great mother whatever that you whatever this is you do it well be confident within yourself stop listening to the thoughts that that go against you being the best version of yourself stop pulling stop being stop allowing your ego to win and take over you have to do the subliminals and change your change your subconscious mindset i'll be coaching y'all it's about the, the the subconscious mindset and what really tapping in and what are your belief systems you gotta you gotta know your belief systems to know what belief systems it's time to throw out and change that's on money that's on your religion if you want to be religious that's on your love and relationships that's on how you parent that's on everything how the type of friends you have what do you believe about friends what do you believe about traveling or getting on an airplane something as simple as that you know, some of you guys could be traveling, get on an airplane or a train or anything. But look, it's something about your energy. Your energy is very, um, again, you draw people to you. It's like, again, magnetic. Let's see what else we have here. This is for my beautiful ladies. Yeah, we have Butterfly Metamorphosis, number 22. So you guys are definitely going through a change. Some of you guys could be going through the change, 808, okay? You guys could be going through menopause or something right now as well. Okay, hot flashes, sweats, all right? Maybe your cycle has stopped, something like that as well. Um, we have obstacles and challenges. So some of you guys may be feeling uh, some type of conflict within yourself or just feeling defeated or um, uh, maybe you're feeling a little sad, a little down, a little low. Maybe that you're in a situation that you feel like you don't know how to figure it out or something, whatever the situation may be for you, right? Um, but I see this is about changing. This is about uh, going through... Um, upgrading and uh becoming a, a butterfly okay N no longer being the caterpillar no longer thinking of yourself lowly crawling on the ground knowing that you the shit honey iced tea you you the bomb hyping yourself up getting rid of patriarchal type of stereotypes and archetypes and all of that type of stuff really paving your own what do you think feel and believe about you and what you should be able to do as a woman, as a female, and who you are. Changing and flying and taking yourself to a higher place. And again, no longer thinking of yourself uh, as lowly. Knowing your worth, knowing your value. Knowing who you are. Knowing what you offer to people. Knowing who you are spiritually. A lot of people may be seeking spiritual comfort, especially if you're someone that necessarily maybe don't go to church or something like that as well. You, the God is in you. The kingdom of God is in you. You have to be one within yourself. Commune with nature. Tap in and commune with nature. 
tap into the unseen, meditate and go within yourself and tap into the God that's in you. You get it? The God in you. It's almost like God is not in you. God in you. You are God in you. You get what I'm saying? Tap in. There is no other entity that is in you. Your spirit is God. And it's in you. So you are goddess. You get what I'm saying? So tap into God in you. The kingdom of God is in you. All your riches, your wealth, your experiences, your entire world, your entire universe is within you. Everything is inside and the 3D is a projection out. I'm a manifestation coach. Go look at my profile. I'm a manifestation coach. I teach you manifestation, how to manifest. I teach you everything. General life advice, relationships, all of it. What y'all want me to talk about? What y'all need to hear more of? 1111, just some, some chats and some talks. What y'all need to hear more of, ladies? It's about changing. It's about really elevating, you know? Y'all want to talk about more... I don't know relationship stuff y'all want to talk about self-care and beauty and all of that stuff look at what we got do you not see this is out twice number 40 is here definitely something about you focusing and hitting your target and hitting your bullseye 1144 44 is significant here yeah your personal power and your crown you guys want more videos on how to be confident and your self-esteem and things of that nature Faith and, you know, those types of things, you know, positive, uplifting videos. A relationship, money, what y'all want to hear, what y'all want to talk about. I know I got some other stuff I'm already doing, you know, but I'm asking y'all what do y'all want to talk about so I can add that to it. You feel me? Um, but again, wearing your crown here, really knowing who you are, really stepping into your power, Divine Feminine. Go check out all the videos that I've been posting as well. Thank you, ladies. It's like you know who you are. Yeah. You're very different with this wonder here. You're really tapped into the universe. Didn't I just say 44? I'm trying to tell you 44 here. Um, it's like you light up the light. It's like you, it's like you're this firefly. It's like you're very magical. You know how when people see a firefly, they be trying to catch it and stuff. People be trying to catch you and bottle you up. Yeah, they just want to catch you and bottle you up. You looking good, scrumptious, you smelling good. I heard honey and brown sugar. Okay, so I don't know if that's something you're purchasing. I don't know if that's uh, something that you need to know for something, but I heard honey and brown sugar. Okay, so it's like you're sweet though. It's like and people they just want to, you know, bottle you up and keep you and yeah, tell them it don't work like that though. Like you gotta be kind to me. Y'all look, I got my um I got my kind bar. Look, they they that that that's that dark chocolate nuts, okay? Mm, they was good too, baby. <laughs> Y'all yeah, get your mind out the gutter. I'm talking about the kind bar. <laughs> Anyways, we got evil eye protection. Protect yourself. Protect your energy. Okay. Um, all my real ones know though. Hey. <laughs> and it was some sea salt girl. Do y'all know? Ladies, I'm fine. This is banging. But yeah, you got options. Look, options. You got options. It's time to shift. Okay. We also have return here. Return to sender. Evil eye protection. Return to sender, okay? Shift the energy, transmute the energy, all right? You got options. Always know that you got an option. If there's anything that you're ever dealing with and trying to figure out, trust and believe that you have an op there's an option to get out of that. It's kind of like being in a, in a maze or something. There is a way out. You're not stuck. Trust and believe you're not stuck, okay? Again, you guys can book your uh, calls with me down below. It's a 30-minute call for $50, okay? Um, you guys can schedule that time with moi down below, okay? And we're going to chop it up and get you straight, get you the clarity you need, help you set the goals or whatever. But yeah, this is you tapping into your personal power here. And again, you hitting your goals, you hitting your focus. You doing, you doing what you came to do. 
But that's exactly what you're doing. You're doing what you came to do. All right, let's see. I'm going to get, haven't pulled these in a long time. This one to fall out. Accept the good in your life and know you're a fucking delight. Exactly. Once you notice the good shit going on in your life, more good shit starts happening. It's like a magnet or a dung beetle. Fun fact, once a dung beetle gets a little nub of poop, he runs around with it and more poop sticks to it and it grows and grows. Goodness is like that. I know that was a little different way of putting it, but you get the point. <laughs> it's like start thinking about the good. You're a magnet, like I've been saying. So if you're attracting poop, you're going to keep getting poop is what they're saying as well. So attract the, the, the good smell and stuff. Attract the goodness of life, the sweetness of life, ladies. That's what you're here to do because you're a woman and you can uh, attract. You have an advantage because we are naturally that. We're naturally creators. We birth things. Nothing can exist without the feminine energy. Without the female being able to birth the woman. So accept all the goods. Find one thing that's good. And then let that magnetize and then just shift your energy, shift your energy and protect yourself from the negative, seeing what's not working. Don't focus on what's not working. Find a solution. Be solution focused. Find the good. Okay. And the more good will come to you. Be unfuckwittable. Yeah. Stay in your lane. Whatever you do, be the best at it and be unfuckwittable. Let's see what else comes out. Okay, Divine Feminine. Make sure you guys uh, look at stuff in the mirror. Self-care isn't selfish. It's not. It ain't selfish. Not at all. That's exactly what you sh are supposed to be doing and should be doing. Caring for yourself. Vibrate so high that toxic people fall back because they no longer know how to approach you. Exactly because you have set the necessary boundaries to where you're not going, I can't go for that. No, no, mm -mm, no, can't do. You can't go for that. You can't do that. Even if you did it five seconds ago, oh, I learned and I realized I can't do that no more. Just cut the energies off. Sometimes crushing it means asking for help. Some of you guys may need help. So ask for the help that you need because a divine feminine, a woman knows, guess what? I attract. So if there's something that I desire, if there's something that I see that I may need or that I may be missing, I simply ask for it, whoever I need to ask, whether it's a person, whether it's God, whether it's an organization, whether it's a favor, whoever, whatever you ask. Sometimes your children got what you need, whatever it may be. You ask and if you're a trust and believe that you receive what you ask for. Uh, 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 you, you, you're using your feminine energy to create and to attract and to pull towards you what it is that you, what you, you, it's already here for us. It's already in our vortex here for us. We just have to, like a vending machine, magnetize ourselves to it and pull it to us and let it come down to us. Or we have to rise up to it, so to speak. We we are not bringing it into this world. We're jumping to the world where it's already at because it's already here. Because there's a version of you already doing that thing and having that thing, whatever you need, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I'm going to have to do some manifestation videos for y'all. But yeah, ask for the help that you need. And you won't be afraid to ask for help if you trust and know that you're going to get what you need. If, there's, if you need help, ask. Hey, when I be in the store and I got to get a, a pack of water, I, I find a mail. Hey, honey, thank you. Can you, I, I say, hey, honey, how you doing today? You doing well? Can you pick up this water for me, please, and put it in my basket? Thank you. I really appreciate you. Yep, it's over this way. Mm-hmm. If tell them to follow, they follow me. Tell them where I need to go. If it ain't, if I was, if I had to go out the aisle or something like that. But now I do um, Instacart. But my point is, you get what I'm saying. That's an example. I ask for what I need. Sometimes it may be situations where you may feel embarrassed because of what you have to ask for or something. But don't be. Okay, you have to be in a position of, of of wanting something, so to speak, or you don't want to feel like you want it or need it because that's going to keep you away from it. It's going to make you anxious about it. You get what I'm saying? So you don't want to be in that energy. I felt like I had my glasses on, you know, but trust and believe that you're going to receive what it is that you ask for. You're going to receive it. 
Trust that. Trust, trust and have faith in the positive outcome versus you not getting what, what you want. You have so much faith that it ain't going to happen. You might as well not ask for it. That's why you ain't asking because you're afraid it ain't going to happen because you got too much energy stored up in that versus having energy stored up in knowing that you oh, that is going to turn into your favor. Oh my God, calm the fuck down. Calm down. It's okay. Everything is okay. Everything's going to be all right. Drink your water. Mind your business. Let's get two more. You guys can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if y'all got some positive energy from me. Beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negative shit. Distance yourself and, yeah, self-care. Yeah, again, you could be being dragged into a way, into a path. Um, how I'm seeing this, you may need to be selfish and back away from something that could be calling you towards it. You need to have more self-care. And trust and know that it's not selfish for you to back away from a certain group of people or to give yourself a certain amount of time or something to go through this change. You're being called to go away from something and to be selfish and to not go into a certain a certain group, a certain field, certain something, right? Like this could be work. Okay, because you're going through this metamorphosis, you need a meta, you need to change and elevate. Okay, and you need to distance yourself from that because for some of you guys, it's negative. Not everyone is negative. It's just time for you to grow and elevate. But for some of you guys, it is negative. So you need to, and this is that's why it's called. It may look attractive, but it's not. You need to remove yourself from it. Okay, again, be unfuckwithable is what I see here. If you're uh, 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 if you flip it up, turn around my face, Missy Elliott. All right, let's get one more. I'm gonna close out again. You guys can book your call. Okay, integrity is the new black pops out. So have integrity. We also have if you wouldn't say it to a friend, you shouldn't say it to yourself. Being kind to yourself. And then we have worrying is a negative prayer. So I just got done saying that. Do not worry. Because that all you're doing is saying that prayer. It's prayers all the time. You're manifesting all the time. You're either manifesting that you're not going to do it or that you will do it. That you're not going to have it or that you will have it. That's all manifestation is. You got faith. But many of y'all have faith in the worst so much that you don't know how to have faith in the good you got to know how to change your belief system and the way you do that is start by finding one good thing around you and then naming two and then naming three writing it down getting that energy and seeing the good flow seeing the blessings flow and again be unfuckwittable you are a product of what you believe told you you got it it's about changing that subconscious mind i can help you do that Anyways, these are your messages, ladies. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys need to chop it up with me, again, you guys can book your phone call down below. You guys can also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. You guys can share this video as well, okay? Um, I also offer coaching as well, if that's something that you all are interested. And I will see y'all in the next one. Go check out all of my other videos down below, okay? Including business videos. I am Coach Nayla Latrice. Peace.